negotiated by the ladies. And they have these special starting gates installed here in Warsaw for the first time in these IWF championships. Trying to make sure everyone gets a fair start. So they're away then in the 1987 Women's Championship. The reigning champion, Zola Bud of England, who has won for the last two years, not here today. She has an injury problem and she's not able to chase that third title. So the individual champion today will be a new name on the trophies. Wins. But runners just sorting themselves out now. It's a very tight, twisting course here. And there are times she's unbeaten, in fact, this winter on road or cross country. And I think... Um, determined to put her mark on this race very early on. The ground they're just going to has been adapted for these World Cross Country Championships. There's Krishna Wood, just uh, ahead of Paula Ivan of Romania. And it's very important for all these runners. We see the several Americans there following up Welsh and Jennings. And here, 110 Rosa Motta there, the European Marathon Champion. But, oh dear, getting up that bank was hard work there for both of the girls. Annette Sargent, the French champion, is going to take an amazingly upset victory here over Lynch. It looked as though Lynch had got it, but Annette Sargent, 24-year-old French girl, French champion, she was third in this race last year, finishing very, very strongly. Lynch just can look up at her and say goodbye, really, because the race is over, that Sargent is going to win a terrific victory here for the French. The French not noted for their cross-country successes in the past, but this is a most dominating performance here. Sergeant delighted and surprised, I think, a little bit to win that. She seemed to get really inspired in the closing straights there, and they're watching the starter there. Well, perhaps not a perfect start there, but uh, better than we've had some years in this particular event. That starting gate, again, proving its value. Making a long run for home would be the best way of going about it. They're not up to even halfway yet, so this is very, very early. We saw what happened to Liz Lynch when she made a, an early break in the women. But Kip Kowicz leading his Kenyan team there in single file, and they're just going past the finish there now, and into this last lap. They have one more circuit of just over two kilometres, and there, 164, is Somi Muge. France there, number 77 on the left in the red, white and blue of France. And that's Somi Muge of Kenya running with him. Just behind in fifth place, that's Mekinen of Ethiopia. And Masai of Kenya, Pat Porter of the USA in seventh place. And uh, Paul McCloy behind him. Yes, the leaders now have overtaken. Then they have a diagonal run of about 400 metres across to the finish. And it's still very much between the two of them. Both... 25 years old, Kip Koech on the left in the white head, and Googie, the reigning champion on the right, going for that line, and who is it? It's, I think we have the same champion as last year, John and Googie, yes, the officials are sending him down the finishing straight there, a terrific and, one has to say, unexpected retention of the title by John and Googie.